Hello there, welcome to the clinic. So it is my understanding that you enjoy seeing the colour vision test. So it's a good job I can bring you two new tests today, as well as revisiting three old classics. So the first new one is housed in the protective sheet here. Okay, this is the standard pseudo isochromatic colour vision test. So that's the front of the test, the booklet. That's the spine. And that's the back of the booklet. There, quite an old test. Now before I show you any of the plates, I'm going to show you the reference figures that are used for this test so you can familiarise yourself with what you're going to be seeing. So there are the reference figures. Spend a few moments getting to know what's going to be used during this test. Excellent. And then we're going to dive to the front. We're going to be wearing the gloves so that we don't taint or smudge any of the plates. Remember this is a roll plate, just showing you the plates, it's not an actual colour vision test. So our plates one to four are the demo plates. Plate one, 75 centimetres there. Good daylight conditions, what can you say? And the next. And usually you'd have about three seconds doing this test per plate. But I'll show you them for a little bit longer. We'll go a little bit slower. We have plenty of time today. All right, let's see if we can find the final Demonstration plate number four. Okay, now we're on to the screening plates, all the way up to number 14. If you see two numerals on the plate, tell me which one stands out the most. So say what you see and then say which one potentially is more vivid. This is plate six. And plate seven. We're up to number 11 now, plate 11. I think we're on to the final screening plate here. Excellent. 
Now we're on to the classification plates. I'll have a look at this one please. 75 centimetres there. How can you see? Lovely. Okay, we're coming towards the end now. In fact, that was the final plate there. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the standard pseudo isochromatic test there. Thank you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing that new colour vision test. The next second new one is housed in these protective sheets. It's double protected. It's quite an old test. Now this test has a mixture of pictures, words, numbers and letters for you to identify. It's quite long so it should be very relaxing for you. That's the front of the booklet. That's the spine, and that's the back of the book. So let's get to it with this test. Just say what you see, whether it's a picture, word or number. Okay, first plate for you. Marvellous, it's a beautiful picture. Beautiful picture there, isn't it? find this test very interesting indeed. Certainly a colour vision test may not have seen before. Can you see that please? Okay, we have a double set of numerals on this plate, please. For you identify Moving on. Thank you. Okay, you have two smaller plates here. Can you see what's on the plate? Can you distinguish there? Okay, still plenty to go with this there. favourite plates here. A little look at this and tell me what you can distinguish there. Okay, okay, two smaller plates on one page.
Okay, this is a tricky one. Have you got it? Favorite plates here. Reminds me of a stained glass window. a word here. Distinguish there, excellent. I did say this one was a little bit more interesting than previous colour vision tests. Okay, pair of double plates here, okay. This was quite a long test. Okay. And uh Interesting one here for you. towards the end now. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, take your time on this one, please. Final plate there. What can you make out, please? Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the rare collision test there. Now let's move on to some old classics. Okay, so now we're moving on to our old faithful. Ishihara test, one probably most of you have had performed in the clinic. So first plate, want to ensure that there's no malingering. Can you see that please? What number? Okay. Go from left to right please. over onto the hidden range of plates now. And the classification set. should be asked if the two numbers are equally vivid or whether there's some kind of disparity on the plates there. Do you see one much better than the other, for example? Okay, and then we've got some with the pathway. That could potentially be traced, but without touching the plate. And one more demo, but in tracing form there. Excellent, so that's the Ishihara test demonstrated for you. Sit back in the protective case there. Let's move on to another classic now. The City University colour vision test. And here is the City 
University. Color vision test. That's the fruit. That's the spine. You can't miss this booklet or this test. It's in bright red protective folder there. Now there's two sections to this test and the first section you're going to see three spots in a vertical manner. I need to know if you feel all the spots are the same colour or you'd be asked to point to or identify which spot looks different in colour from the other two if there's a difference. Okay you see that difference. Start here, daylight conditions around 45 centimetres. Are they all the same colour there? Or is one different? If so, which one? Okay, and then you do the same here. And then we do the same at the bottom. And the neighbouring one now. Alright, so just keep going like that. So we get to the second phase. That's the next one. And then there. To maintain 45 centimetres if possible. Okay, all the same shade, colour, or is one different? And same there. Page three next. Got to start there as per usual. Ask you to have a look at those three, please. Bottom three. And the next set. All the same colour. Or is one different? If so, top, middle, or bottom. Okay, last one before the test changes slightly. Identify which one's different, if there are any. There. There. And to the final one there. Excellent. Now you're going to see five coloured spots. The middle one is your reference point. Looking at the middle spot, I need you to tell me which one surrounding the middle one closely matches the colour to the middle one. All right. You can say top, bottom, left or right. Or point to the spot closely matches the colour of the central one, please. Okay, that's the Okay, and the next one, please. Same thing again, closest matching one to the centre, please. Select which one. Do not touch the page though, please. Remain at around 45 centimetres. Okay, a couple more to go. And the final one. Excellent, so that's the end of the city test. That would be the end. These are the scoring sheets. The blue sheet's there to score. That's part one. And then we have part two scoring sheet there. Thank you. So let's move on to the final colour vision test. OK, 
Okay, and moving on to the final color vision test, probably my most favorite, best to last, is the Farnsworth D15 test. So I'm going to do this test personally, as if it was me doing it in the clinic. So I've mixed up the caps here. It's important that we don't touch the colored part. Now this is my reference cap. I'm gonna have to select the cap from here closely matches the colour of this one and then we use the next one each time as the reference cap all right so just looking at this one let me look from the collection which one I'm going to place in I'm going to go for that one there okay and now this is going to be my next reference point for selecting I believe is the correct cap. Let's go for that one there. Okay, so it gets a little bit trickier when it comes to the blues and green. Let's try this one. You can change your answers if you wish. That's absolutely fine during this test. You'll have time to review and change. Okay, and next. Very tricky, I'm going to have to say this one. Okay, using this one. A little bit bright, so I'm going to go for this one. And maybe that one. I'm just going to take a moment to review my responses. It's a very simple way for checking how the patient's done. of the caps should be numbers let's have a little look okay how is that looking going in ascending order Errors there for me on the farms with D15 binocularly. Usually I'd perform this test monocularly through one eye each time. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the new and old classic colour vision tests there. <laughs>